Hi, I'm Heather. I'm passionate about real estate, making money, and I love a good property transformation. I met up with real estate investor Dave Knight, and in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at one of his flips in Hamilton, Ontario. Okay, we're heading out to Hamilton to meet up with real estate investor Dave Knight and check out his flip. All right, let's do this. Hey, how's it going? I'm Dave Knight. I'm the founder of First Responders Wealth Network and 911wealthnetwork.com. And this is one of our uh, many projects in Hamilton here. So come on inside. So this is a single family home and we had to go to the city and convert it. So it'll actually end up being a legal duplex with an in-law suite, so three unit. So we're technically in the core, the downtown core. It, you still get a little bit of that larger square footage, larger lots. So right now we're in between uh, Main Street and King, uh, the downtown core, just off Sherman Avenue. The value and the refinance is really huge here for people who are looking to burr these properties, which is buy, renovate, rent, refinance. But specifically what I'm doing here is flipping them. So I'm actually making, doing the whole conversion and rather than refinance it, I'm putting it on the market and I'm selling it to another investor to come in and fill these units up with large rents and then continue it on as an uh, income property. Okay, so here we are, we're in the main entrance of the front door. So this will actually be blocked off. So it's kind of nice. This will be the main entrance for the upper unit, three bed, one bath. All right, so I'll take you guys to the main floor. So this used to be a wall here. Uh, this used to be closed in. It's about 70% new drywall in here. Uh, we're putting all vinyl flooring. This will end up being one bed, one bath unit on the main floor. Unit upstairs will be three bed, one bath, and then downstairs will be uh, one bed, one bath. So three unit, each have their own separate entrance and exit. The tour is very quick, but uh, this will be the master bedroom. So you can obviously, it's a pretty large space in here for the closet, so this will be a very open area. So obviously this is the entrance. This will be the entrance into the main floor. Uh, for the upper unit is the front door. Um, and this will actually all be parking. Adds an addition to rent and income, which will help me on the flip side, is, which is what I'm doing here. This used to be a four bedroom area, but we cleared this out. We knocked down a couple walls, uh, put the beam up. And now this is gonna be a large open kitchen. We always do all of our bathrooms with stand-up showers. We try and eliminate the tub because we're kind of aiming for that young executive couple to come in, not as much as like the family vibe. You'll see just stand-up shower, remove the tub. Everything's all brand new, all new plumbing. Everything we pretty much start from scratch because we gotta go to the city, get the permits for the electrical, redo everything. So we really focus on starting it from scratch and then building up from the ground up. My fiance and I were literally handing out flyers. We were handing out flyers up and down the street, all around this area. We connected with someone up who mentioned, hey, they're gonna be selling down the road. As soon as it hit MLS, we gave a cash offer and they accepted right away. Anytime I'm flipping, I don't joint venture with people. Um, joint venture traditionally is when it's 50-50. You know, if I was gonna hold this property, I would definitely bring in a partner if I wanted to, and um, they would sign the dotted line, they bring all the capital, I do all the work, and we split it 50-50 and hold the property. But here, obviously, I'm flipping, so that's why we do passive hard money, they call it, and I give them 10% return, and then that's how uh, we do business here. Depends on the projects. It's either conventional banks or private lending. So this specific one is through Scotiabank, um, so a normal conventional bank here in Canada and all the renovation and the down payment are all through investors. So anyone who wants to invest passively doesn't want to do this operation that I'm doing, which is understandable. It's a lot of work. Um, they'll invest with me passively. I give them a 10% return, usually around there. Get 20% down, make the purchase. Uh, traditional bank, conventional bank uh, does the remainder 80% loan to value. And then the remainder of the renovation budget, overhead cost, etc., insurance, all that stuff um, is all covered through investor funds. All right, so downstairs is pretty rough still, but you'll get an idea of what kind of what's going on. Um, so this will be uh, the entrance into the basement. So this will actually be blocked off where you are. This unit will walk downstairs. As you can see, it's a big uh, construction zone right now. You're always battling with uh, you know older homes for the, the ceiling height. 
So something that you gotta consider when you're looking at uh, doing these multifamily conversions. No, so I'm a full-time police officer. Okay. Uh, I work on the road, shift work, uh, still working full-time. That's why I've been able to do what I'm doing because I've invested in my education, I've invested in the time, I've got some experience now, and I've got a great team. As far as people who invest with me, I do stick to my first responder community. I like to give them great returns and just kind of network with people that I know. The majority of the projects, I get them done in about six to eight months, and then I leave that remainder of the year to list it, find a buyer, and close on it. So usually I give myself about 12 months. So in all our units that we do, we always do, uh, each unit is self-sufficient, so it's individually metered. In addition to that, it also has its own uh, washer and dryer, so no one's sharing that kind of stuff, which obviously creates a bit more of a premium as well for rent. The only thing that'll be um, all included will be the water and uh, gas, so we can't separate that, but the hydro will be individually metered through their usage. Let's recap this. Dave bought a single family home for $550,000 and is converting it into a triplex. He put $300,000 into the deal and that includes full construction, materials, carrying costs for 12 months, money costs, and realtor fees. Dave's looking at selling the property for 1.2 million, which would leave him with a profit of $350,000. If you want more real estate investing content, make sure to subscribe to my channel.